If you look on the back of a dollar bill, you'll find the great seal of the United States. It's a representation of the unity of the 13 colonies depicted by an eagle with 13 stars above its head. In one claw, the eagle is holding an olive branch representing peace with 13 leaves and 13 olives representing the 13 colonies. In the other claw, the eagle is holding 13 arrows representing the 13 colonies united and prepared for war. The banner around the eagle's head says E Pluribus Unum, which means out of many, one. The 13 arrows on the seal got there through an interesting story. It started way back before the Revolutionary War with the Iroquois Indian tribes. There were five Iroquois nations who were constantly fighting until they formed a confederation and agreed to unite. In 1744, Benjamin Franklin and a number of the English colony leaders came together to discuss forming their own confederation. And they invited a leader from the Iroquois nations to give a speech on how their nations had formed an alliance. Franklin printed the speech and it became a catalyst for the unity between the 13 colonies. The leader used an old Indian story to illustrate their need for unity. He told about an Indian chief who had six sons that were always fighting. The chief called his sons together and gave each one of them an arrow and told them to break it in two. Of course, all six sons easily broke the arrow that he gave them. He then took six more arrows and bound them together and told each son to take turns trying to break the bundle of arrows. None of them could. Of course, his message evolved into the famous patriotic line, united we stand, divided we fall. Because of this great Indian leader's influence, and especially because of his story, the 13 Arrows became a permanent part of the great seal of the United States of America. The pieces of the rose were so unhappy, their words were mean and rough and very snappy. The petals said, we're better than the rest. The thorns and stem and roots are such a pest. Let's form a petals club and charge a fee, because we're the ones that people want to see. And so the petals fluttered all away. The leaves and thorns and stems and roots would stay. They each were full of anger, feeling sad. Because the petals left, they all were mad. The thorns yelled, we are sharp and we are right. They made a point of starting up a fight. The stems said, through the storm, the wind, the weather, I'm the one who holds us all together. The roots said to the stem, you're not so great. You're skinny and your view is just too straight. The stem said to the roots, just go away. Nobody ever sees you anyway. The leaves decided they would make a scene. They yelled at all the others, you're so mean. And so the pieces all joined in the fight with each one thinking he or she was right. But soon the petals withered and turned brown. The leaves all started falling to the ground. The thorns and stem and roots began to die and no one seemed to know the reason why. The dying rose arose and with a shout, screamed, what is all this squabbling about? Unless we come together, nothing grows. We all need one another, said the rose. They all came back from where they each had been, and now the rose was happy once again. Our nation is no longer just made up of 13 colonies. We're made up of Democrats, Republicans, Independents, Protestants, Catholics, and Atheists, black and white and brown people from every nationality. We're a melting pot of diversity, but we still are one nation. At the presidential prayer breakfast in 2013, Dr. Ben Carson referred to the eagle, our national bird that's seen on the great seal with the olive branches and the arrows. He made a simple remark that it would have made Benjamin Franklin and his Indian friend proud. He said, but why is it that the eagle is able to fly high and fly forward? It's because it has two wings, a left wing and a right wing. Enough said. Every time I quote the Pledge of Allegiance at a ball game, a concert, or a conference, I always get chills when we come to the part that says, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let the rose be the rose with its petals, the stem, its thorns, its stalk, and its roots. Without the harmony of all those parts, there would be no rose.